it is gonna be a warm one. All right, so today we have cheap or free Duramax mods. Uh, this applies to LML owners or really any Duramax generation. Uh, and this actually applies to really most uh, truck owners in general for a lot of these. And if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I got a lot of truck content as well as snowmobile right there. Sorry, content coming this winter for you. Be riding up in Revelstoke a lot this year as well as down in like Idaho, Washington. Uh, we'll drive for Montana and Wyoming. So let's get right into it. So first up we have a little, I know a lot of people already probably have this and excuse my very dirty truck. Just got uh, down, moved down to Arizona from a long uh, 5,000 mile road trip. So uh, first one is going to be this little guy right here. It's just a USB uh, splitter. Uh, reason I say uh, it's a cheap or cheaper free mod. It's they're only a couple bucks less than five bucks normally uh, But in my in the LML trucks that have uh, the That have the navigation centers like this uh, They have the USB ports right here and here as well as right here But when you plug in your iPhone or Android or anything like that, it'll come up on the screen as CarPlay It just kind of avoids having that pop up and whatnot. So just having this plugged in it just charges the phone so it just makes it a little bit nicer to be able to do that normally you can get these at like gas stations or something like that this one right here is a really low profile one which i really like it sits in there really low compared to most of them that stick up and are just kind of ugly in my opinion and probably in a future video i'll be going over how to uh, route it from here down through the center console here and up through somewhere where I can mount it to right there which we'll go over here in just a second. All right, next up we have this change drawer uh, just an extra little thing it's about 40 bucks from GM you can get them online I think for 38 or something like that it's just really nice to be able to have extra space to be able to put things instead of all the way down in the bottom there which is already just packed with crap and then also on the bottom here a little hidden storage spot but you just lift that out and there's extra storage down there you can actually take out this little change you really just have to lift up on it and it just pops right out all right next up is going to be these little two round guys right here uh, if you don't already have these these are just magnetic phone holders essentially it comes it's about twelve dollars it's on amazon i'll link it in uh, somewhere on the video here or in, as well as in the description uh, but you basically just need to put uh, two or one the metal inserts that come with that come in the kit on the back of your phone or on the inside the case so this is the case for my phone and these are the two little metal inserts that I talked about. I have an iPhone 7 Plus, so it's the, just a little bit bigger phone. So it comes with two of the round ones, two of the longer rectangular ones. I put two of them in there as well as use two on there. What's really nice about that phone holder is that it holds the phone in there so nice on those really bumpy roads. Going up into snowmobile territory, so we're doing a lot of log roads. The only thing you have to watch out for is that uh, sometimes it will uh, pull these mounts out a little bit so you just have to kind of like push your phone on there and that's not that often at all it's maybe once a month where I accidentally pull it off somehow and it pulls that out but holds it in there really nice it's been on there for about eight months now through a full season of uh, snowmobile riding last year and no issues all right next up we're gonna switch around to the driver's side uh, this is an OBD2 splitter. Essentially, it just plugs in right here to your OBD2 port, and then I just uh, hung the wires, or sorry, sorry, zip tied the wires up above there so that they would be able to hang down a little bit. I still need to organize them a little bit better just because I don't want them hanging down uh, this far like this, and as well as getting in, in the way of the uh, parking brake here. But right now, I have it plugged in to my edge monitor right now. And then I ran the wiring just down and plugged it in right here. So again, I need to kind of hang this up a little bit more so it's not hanging down like that. But uh, I have not noticed any uh, differences in it. I've plugged in an OBD2 scanner while uh, the edge is plugged in. Notice nothing that affected the OBD2 scanner or the edge. What I have planned in the future is running the AMP research uh, boards, replacing the stock ones here and plugging into the OBD2 port right here, as well as just having a spare OBD2 port so I don't have to continue unplugging this to be able to use 
everything all at once. I've had really good luck with it, no issues whatsoever with it. Uh, this one was about $10 shipped on Amazon. Again, I'll link that in the description below. Next up on the outside of the truck here, you can see these AVS rain guards. I love these things. They are low profile. They don't stick out. I hate rain guards that stick out. They're about 50, 50 something dollars between 50 and 60 bucks shipped on Amazon as well for the LML uh, truck. Okay, so this next mod is probably one of my most favorite ones so far. Uh, it's free. I don't know if it, this applies to a lot of the older trucks. On the LML side, this is probably one of the things that I have not seen uh, too many people do yet. If you have kids, I would definitely suggest probably not doing this one, but uh, me being I don't have any kids, I love it. Basically, it's the rear child seat loop that comes out above right here. You can kind of see it right here this little loop right here. Whenever I would look in the rear view mirror, I would see that stupid little loop looking like it was a piece of electrical wiring just sitting here. How you're gonna need to remove that, you basically need to put the rear seats up like that. If you have one of these shelves, you might need to take it out, but you'll need to remove uh, the jack as well as you'll have to loosen, well actually uh, take off basically the rear seats, uh, the bolts, or sorry, nuts here, there's one back here, one over there, and I think there was one in each corner, uh, right there, right there, and then there's two others on the other side back there. But you basically need to take all those off, uh, push the seats forward enough to be able to get a bolt on it. So right there is where it bolts in. It's just a single, I wanna say it was a 17 or 19, I'm not sure if I can tell from here. Oh, sorry, it was a Torx. You just need to get the rear seats as far forward as possible and then be able to get a, a Torx on there to be able to get that off and just pulls right out. Free mod. The last two have to do with the rear of the truck. First one is the LED reverse lights. They come with a halogen bulb from the factory, but everything else is LED, so I wanted to switch over to an LED bulb for the rears. Uh, it's about, I think it was like six bucks on eBay about for those. I haven't had any issues with them. They've been in for, I wanna say about six months or so. Six, seven months, probably more actually. Uh, since then, and I've had no issues. The only real issue that I had with it was on uh, initially on install. I didn't have the bulb on the driver side or on the passenger side here in enough, so it actually popped out. It was actually just rattling around inside the housing. As soon as I uh, pushed it back in, it was fine. I've had no, no issues since, and they look great. I'll hit the lights for you here, so you can see it. It just gives off a lot better, a lot cleaner blue white ish look and if you're asking if they are brighter at night yes they are a little bit brighter it's not a crazy amount but it is enough enough to tell and just in case my led reverse lights do go out i do keep my stock bulbs in this little bag here and i just keep it in the truck just in case and that's all I've got for you today. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any other questions or anything you think I missed, leave a comment below and we'll see you next time. Thanks.